I was saying to him, but in the book, which you've obviously read from cover to cover, which uh, uh, anyone that has done that, it's like reading the, the, the Lisbon Treaty from start to cover, because it, there's a lot of reading in this book. And uh, I thought that uh, Babs Keating as well, um, came out with, with a feeling and a message and a method that but for Limerick, he felt the Tipperary would have won a few All-Irelands during that period of time. Yeah, well, sure, Limerick have been, I suppose, to, they have been the bridesmaids uh, on a lot of occasions, Sean. You know, uh, compared to Lisbon Treaty, he might be a bit unfair. So <laughs> I, think, I think it's written in ordinary man's language and there's a, and there's I, a lot of uh, explicit in it like that that will go down well with the people as well. They'll be able to understand where it's come from. And uh, really and truly, I suppose, Limerick have prevented other counties from winning all islands, which are, that's, that's no good, like, when we're not winning them ourselves. That's you know, true. That's you see, that's, that's the positive aspect of it, like, you know, and I hope that people will, will read the book in its, in its entirety yes. and take a message. And, you know, and in saying that, Sean, I ain't getting a lot of calls. I want to let out to the people. I didn't write this book at all. The, the people are ringing me in more than night about it, about, about, about the, the issues they have raised in it. But, you see, a lot of people have their heads in the sand, you see, Sean, and there's a lot of people who want to know what's in the book. And, and I, I know a few people in entirety are kind of against the book and they won't read it even. And that's, worse, that's the worst crime of all, like, if we don't, because if Limerick has to progress, and Limerick needs to progress in hurling, we're going down, 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 we need to read that book, and we need to use it as a catalyst to move forward, because you have to, you have to get rid of the ghost of the past to work in the future, and we need people that are working in the future with the proper management structure. Well, now, there's uh, two things in relation to that. One in relation to what I said about the Lisbon Treaty. I meant the size of the book, and, and every page has something different. You'd really want to absorb it. And from what you say, there are so many people have offered opinions on different sides. You know, some people had this opinion that this book was predominantly against the county board, and um, other, others, mainly you've got people saying that, but, I mean, people from yourself and other players, um, you, you had opinions about certain players who didn't put it in, about players who were intoxicated at times, people who wanted to travel in different ways, that there was ups and downs in many aspects, and it's well worth reading for all those matters. It's well worth reading for all those matters. It's well worth reading for, for the students of Limerick Holly. But, you see, the point about it, Sean, is that the one aspect that has amused me in the book now, and, 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 and it, it indeed amused me, I'll tell you that much, I, I've, I've, I need a, a good injection before I get amused. But the, the features of, pre, of past managers and, and officials and kind of people, selectors and that all over the teams, it makes me weary now to listen to them as well, mo moaning and groaning now, when any of them didn't open their mouths when they were in position, or when I was being hammered left, right and centre, not one single contributor to that book came forward and said, look, we would support you. No, they waited and they suffered in silence, and now when they got the treatment themselves, they all comes out the too late. Yes. It's like, it's like don't log, they're coming out a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I, I'll tell you, it's it, it's amazing the way I I well I I know I I was I I worked on radio with you um, constructively I hope over a number of years in Limerick and I was working on radio at the time that you had won two months of championships and a national league all in the space of a couple of years and actually I interviewed you in Cusick Park in Ennis the night that you beat Galway in the national league and you were sacked at that time. I was gone, Sean. But I was gone, Sean, 12 months before that. I mean, <laughs> you see, it's this book isn't about me, Tal. This, this oh, I know about, that. It's about an era. It's about a story. It's about really and truly what you, what you pinpointed there now was the last. That was only the last thing of a giant west. <laughs> the, 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 the second of me, like. I mean, you see, and the point about it, Sean, was... The, the way it's been accepted throughout the county, like, is, and by the delegates, by the clubs, by the, by the ordinary people in the street, they just accepted it because, like, they took it that, look, this is the way to go. We'll, we'll get rid of Tom Ryan, and that'll, the sun will come up in the morning, and we'll have all islands here. We'll be, we'll be parading down our country every 12 months, like Kilkenny are parading into Kilkenny. That but didn't happen. Not, in saying that, Charlie, you see, the point about that is that, Honesty is very important, and management. And one little antidote that's not in that book, Sean, at all, but it's very relevant to it now, and we'll add a little bit to it, rather, rather than be uh, delaying you. The night I was sacked, Sean, yes. now, there was 160 delegates in the room. Yes. The night I was sacked, the, the night it was a, 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 wasn't a, an army county board meeting, it was, a, it was a, a delegate meeting to elect a new manager. Yes. Elect a manager. Yes. There wasn't... 
You had a meeting half hour early in order to in order to shaft in order to for to get it to get in there blow early on. And not one of the hundred and sixty delegates, including my own club, stood up and said, Well, I mean, they didn't do a bad old job or fair play to them, we won in a couple of months of championships together. Not one isn't it hard to imagine that in a Holland County with the the core delegates we say. So I go up to show the delegates you had, it goes to show the fear they had of the county board, and it goes to show the whole system in Limerick. If when one man couldn't stand up, I didn't care. I would not thanks, John, because yeah. but the people that were with me, they were very badly hurt because what? I was I mean I was well used to them, like. Yes. But, but these were the people but that why, you know, why, these why? were the county board trying. Listen, I have to I, Tom, hold it. I have to don't, don't get excited. I have to go for a commercial break and I'll go in a minute and it's only gonna last a minute and you'll be with me for another quarter of an hour or more. But I want to say that there must be something somewhere that we people don't know about um, that caused a lot of what you feel was this conflict uh, with the board with yourself. Because I know, and everybody knows, you're a very strong character, a very strong man with the players and everybody else like that. You had great demands on them, and if you didn't, they wouldn't have had the success that they had. But somewhere along the line... What happened along the way, or can you say, or do you know? But I'm going for a commercial break of one minute, and I'll be back with you to to um, to talk to you then. And congratulations and best wishes to you from George Ryan in Latin. Mickey and Johnny Dooley uh, played at Limerick for, from South Liberties. Uh, the book is great. It says uh, what people said, etc. From Rita Dooley, very interesting. From Mike Flynn and Rita Dooley, say hello to Tom and wish him all the best. The last time he played soccer against them. Michaels, he got sent off and that's from Mick Flynn I'll be back with you in a minute Ho 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 guys and girls, it's me again Not only do Joe Williams offer you the best choice, excellent service and real value for money, they also offer their wonderful Christmas club where you can secure your Christmas toys with a small deposit. I haven't looked back since, I promise you won't Ho 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 National Choral and Dramatic Society presents The Factory Girls by Frank McGuinness at Brewbaroo from Thursday the 29th of October to Sunday the 1st of November at 8.15pm. Admission 12.50. Concession Thursday night, €5 for students and senior citizens. Tickets in advance from Odewar's Pharmacy Main Street 062-61318 and from Brewbaroo at 062-611-22. Welcome back to the programme. Well, I'm in the company of Henry Martin and of Tom Ryan, and we've just taken that very brief commercial break. Uh, Tom, um, have you any, any... I know about these 20 questions and all of those, but outside of those for the moment, because some of them, to me, were rather silly when you look back at the... Uh, there was one there about two women being involved, and so there was women always involved. There's more women involved now than ever before in looking after teams. But... Um, what was the over over feeling that you would had that they, why they would have turned against you who were very successful? Was it that they weren't able to deal with you that you were too strong? <laughs> 